So in question number five of this first exercise, we have been given a set of values in tables and we'll have to use them to draw line graphs. So we've taken the question A of this question where we see that the number of days a hillside city received snow in different years is given in this table. Now, if we draw the line graph of this data, so this is the line graph which we'll get where we have taken the different years on the x-axis and the number of days for which the hillside city received snow as y-axis. Now, whenever we are drawing a line graph, we'll have to take or mention the scale of both the axes which we are taking to plot these values. So if we observe the x-axis, so the scale for the x-axis would be, as we see here, that these small squares, let me just highlight the squares, the smaller squares. So these small squares, there are five of them, they represent one unit. So we can say that on x-axis, five units represents one year. So between each year, you'll see five units and on y-axis, if we observe these small boxes, we see this, this. So we again see here that five units on the y-axis represents five days. So this is the scale which has been taken into con consideration while drawing this line graph and we see the first point which is this. Now this represents the number of days in year 2003, then this represents the number of days in 2004, this represents the number of days in 2005 and this represents the number of days in 2006 for which the hillside city received snow. Now let us have the next table on the canvas. And let us see how can we draw the line graph again. So as we see the B part of this question where we have been given population in thousands of men and women in a village in different years. Where we see the number of men and the number of women, the values are given in this table. Let us now see the line graph on the canvas. So here we have taken the years on the x-axis and the population in thousands on the vertical or the y-axis. Since we have two set of data, the first one is the number of men. So we have taken the number of men as the solid line and the number of women as the dotted lines and we plotted the line graph using these set of values. Now here as well, when we are drawing these line graphs, we'll have to be careful of the scale which we have taken. So if we observe the x-axis again, we'll use the same logic which we've used in the last part of this question. Here we see again that one year is represented by these five small boxes or small cubes. So we can say on x-axis the scale is 5 units represents 1 year again. And then on y-axis if you observe the vertical axis then we see that there are 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5 and then 5 on this side. Hence we can say that 10 units represents 1000 people because the unit of population is given in thousands already so we can say 10 units represents 1000 where if we observe the line graph so let us take the line which represents the number of women first so this line mark the number of women in thousands in 2003 then this point represents the number of women in 2004 this represents the number of women in 2005 this in 2006, this in 2007. Similarly for men, this represents the number of men in 2003, this in 2004, this is the common point for both number of men and women, this represents the number of men in 2006 and this represents the number of men in 2007. So these are the things which we'll have to be careful of while we are drawing line graph using the given set of values or data. And this is how we are going to answer question number five of this first exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.